And the last thing I saw were the eyes of a frightened boy whose master had failed him. It was a cold, dark night at Luke's Jedi Temple. He could already feel the regret, but he knew what he had to do. His beloved student and nephew was already too far gone. There was nothing left to be done. As Luke clenched his deadly hilt, he began to cry. Luke reminded himself of what Ben would become. He had no choice but to kill Ben. <laughs> this is the moment where everything changes. Luke fell to his knees. He couldn't speak. Tears were now streaming down his face. Lying in bed, he couldn't sleep. He wasn't sure how he would face his other students. Eventually, the sun rose on Luke's Jedi Temple. Luke has no choice but to flee the planet. He goes to Octu just like he does in the sequels. It's just like the other timeline, but he leaves for a different reason. With no Jedi, the final order was allowed to rise. Palpatine began his new reign of terror, and nothing could stand in his way. Luke spent many years on Octu. At the end of his life, he realized he couldn't save the Jedi. He couldn't save the Republic. After all this, his life didn't amount to anything. And this is where his story ends. This would never happen, but I hope it was still an entertaining video. Have a great start to your week. Hopefully we see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.